Today in Linda Vista, Dushko Pentovich is on a bit of a hunt. He's an insect detection specialist for San Diego County, and as his job title implies, he's a bit of a detective, and he's a busy one. I do anywhere from 25 to 35 stops a day. There are three different traps here. The first one that gets checked is called a McPhail trap. This is a really good host for uh, your fruit flies. This is for the uh, light brown apple moth. This is for the Asian citrus psyllid. It's this last insect that has the citrus industry concerned. And although the insect is a rather tiny bug, it has the ability to cause some rather big problems. But why look here in this residential neighborhood and not focus on the orange groves themselves? Well, the answer is simple. Unlike citrus growers, most homeowners just aren't actively looking for the insect. And it's here where the Asian citrus psyllid can thrive unnoticed. The county is doing a lot of detection work right now. Dr. Tracy Ellis has been tracking the insect for years. And while the direct damage the psyllid causes is serious, the even greater concern is the disease the insect can carry. It's referred to as citrus greening disease, or Huang Long Bing. When we get the traps in from the field, we uh, have to look, use magnification to check for the insects, and they're about three millimeters long. So we're looking at a, another type of psyllid, but it's not Asian citrus psyllid. The psyllid was first discovered in the late 90s in Palm Beach County, Florida. In just a few years, it spread to 31 counties, with much of the spread due to the movement of infested nursery plants. There have already been over 200,000 acres of oranges that have been destroyed because of the disease, and it's slowly spreading west. There's no cure for it, so if the disease gets into the citrus tree by way of the insect feeding on it, the tree dies. Naturally, this has Palma Valley citrus grower Rick Correa concerned. Yeah, its impact would be pr pretty devastating. I, I think the reason that this does stand out, though, is that its impact is, is a, a lasting one. You know, again, it's not just a, a, you know, one bad frost season or something. Once it's there, it's, it's there, and uh, it's, it's not something that just passes through. <laughs> grower Warren Lyle is likewise concerned. We're in this for the long haul. And we have heard the story of HLB all over the world as it's made its way around the world and the psyllid and the care as it carries the disease along. And it's been decimating to much of the citrus worldwide. It is a big problem, but I think it's one that we can solve. But it's going to take a lot of effort and coordination among growers and the researchers to solve it. Spraying chemicals will deter the insect, but that can be costly for some growers, especially those with a limited arsenal, such as organic farmers. And too much spraying increases the possibility of eliminating beneficial insects in the groves. When you apply chemicals, you tend to disrupt that balance. And that's one of our big concerns, is disrupting the balance. We might be able to kill the psyllid, but we may also kill the beneficial insects, and then we'll have a bigger problem with the different pests next year. Residents are urged to inspect citrus trees monthly. And if you suspect a tree has the psyllid or the disease, act fast. Call your local agricultural commissioner's office. We want to make sure that we get them before they get our trees. Okay, and that's that. These kinds of measures will benefit us all and ensure our local citrus industry continues to thrive in San Diego.